After about six hours of rock strewn and rugged trail hiking, we finally reached the almost mile high Knife Edge Trail. We did this via the Dudley Trail. The Knife Edge is perhaps the most spectacular hike in New England. It can also be the most dangerous. Where we just were, up on Pomola Peak. I cannot believe that we just climbed down there. I tell you, it takes teamwork on everybody. The people come in, we're helpful, and our own team and everybody. We are on the knife edge. Right now, I'm sitting on the knife edge, and Tim is going across now. And Paul and Dundee, and I'm gonna. It would take us about two hours to cross from Pomola Peak to Baxter Peak. We were advised to avoid this trail in stormy weather as the exposure to high winds and, and lightning is very extreme. We were also warned that there is no safe way off the ridge once we decided to cross. The mile long path stretches across the south basin headwall between the Pomola and Baxter Peak in places is only a few feet wide. For much of its length, there are steep drop-offs of a thousand feet or more on both sides. Sit back and cringe as we cross the knife edge. Where's Tim? Oh, Tim's way over there. See him waving? Don't get too far ahead, Tim. You want me to lead or you want to lead? What do you want to do? What? What do I want to do? I just find the, find the path here. This, this appears to be the path. <sighs> Where's the blue? This is the knife set. Huh? This way? Okay. Pause it. Paul's giving me good instructions here. He's gonna almost close, almost close my eyes and look because of what the hell I'm seeing down there. Yeah, the blue, the blue markers right there. It's, it's this the one they talk about right here? That's it, huh? Okay. And some of it is 
eight inches maybe wide so so we'll see how we get over this thing <laughs> holding both sides is the narrowest part of this whole thing and it definitely is definitely is guys so just go nice and slow like on one side here down here and you look on the other good job guys come on Yeah, and you can, and you can also see if you if you had problems, never go down either side. You, you got to go back one way or the other, you know. Yeah. Well, they, they 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 call it, this is the knife edge trail. But that's the real. But and that's I don't think they have a name for that other than there's one narrow part. And obviously, if that was it, it was narrow. That's for sure. Another one of those peaks we're coming up again as part of the knife edge. How you doing guys? Keep moving man, keep moving. I was gonna get your picture there, Sean. That's a that's a weird spot that one was that that is a weird spot okay there we go and right down there is chimney pond and that's where we started this hike from on the Dudley Trail see the pond and you can see the huts
see where if it was windy. Definitely couldn't come here. This is windy, but it's not that that windy, is it? Maybe 10 miles an hour winds or something. They were saying, I guess. View, huh? There's Paul and Nandee and Tim and Mike going over there. John's right behind me, keeping an eye on me. I appreciate that. The what, Mike? We should stop up there and take a have some water, take a little break. Yeah, I just shouldn't have a break. A half before that next peak. moving? Are the groups behind us moving? Good for them. <laughs> you need some water? Yeah, I'm gonna let me get over there with you and then I'll get some water. Thanks. 
come up to you, Dandy? Or, oh, keep going over here. Okay. Look at this, they talk about a knife edge, as you can see here, maybe 10 feet wide. You look down here. It's very easy to get dizzy or whatever.
Thank you. Oh. Here comes Mike and Sean. Phew. to give Dr. James Bayless a call. Thank him for the U, U flexor. Obviously, something's, he did something right. And I'm hiking the knife edge, just climbed up the Dudley Trail and down Paloma Peak. Peak, can hardly say that. This is, I tell you, this is quite the workout here. But we gotta, Long ways to get over, go to get over to Baxter Peak, and Baxter Peak is way over there. You're looking right at it now on the camera here. And there is Baxter Peak. Whew, I'm shaking here because I guess I'm tired and nervous. It's back to the peak right over there. I'm gonna turn this thing off. Whew, man. Huh? So we gotta get up over there. Can you imagine that? That's the that, thing. Yeah. No. Well on the peak. I vote left. Yeah, that's where we're going, I think. Yeah. It's off the trail. Way I left. I don't know. It's, well, I'm trying to take a picture of. Uh, this is the right. Well, blue blue goes this way. The blue goes right. I know. I know what it feels like, but okay. Okay, good. We reached a junction and the blue line went to the right. Sean let the left look better. And so he climbed up there and uh, says it looks like it is. What's that? So uh, we're picking up the blue again, right? Oh, okay, they're here. Why does that? rest of our teams here. <laughs> I don't know, Sean. This is the way you guys went? Sure, okay.
we back on the blue trail yet, John? Yep. So okay, back. good, yeah. Okay. There's Tim over there. See, there's Tim. Way in the lead, going up on another peak. Paul down there and Dundee. And Sean right here ahead of me. And Michael's right behind me. I hope, right Mike? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to think about the knife edge I thought it was flat and you basically was narrow and you had to run across it I didn't realize it was a BB trail yeah yeah it was. there it is still going over Yeah, the water bottle fell, that's all. I'm gonna sit here and drink it. it. Must be a sign for me to drink. going down it may not be the first time well if it falls out again I'll put it in the other I'll put it inside you know thought that one's almost empty anyways Paul and Dundee on their peak. Now this knife edge is not straight. You go up and down obviously over it. And I was told there was one spot you had to go over on your rear end. Well, I'm telling you, there's many spots that you have to go down when you're rear end, as far as I'm concerned. How you doing, Sean? Doing great. Is there a path there? 
just did it. I did it like this, just hugging the wall. Okay, okay. You can, you can slide further down. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got it. Yeah. I almost don't dare to turn around and show the audiences because there's nothing behind me but a drop. But I won't because uh, I got to bring this camera back to me. I feel the wind picking up now. How you doing, Mike? Yeah. You okay? Good. Good, okay. Yeah. There goes Mike and Sean. And <laughs> look what they're looking at. Help it! <laughs> he misses you, Ed. Ed, help me! He told us where the wheel was. <laughs> it's easier going up. This is the narrowest part of this whole thing. And it definitely is. Definitely is, guys. So just go nice and slow. Like on one side. Good job, guys. Almost up to Salt Peak. And here's, uh, here's where we're heading. Head right there to the top of Katahdin, the end of the Appalachian Trail. Okay, we're on the top of Salt Peak. And we're looking over there. Look at all the people hiking down the other side. Okay. This so. is the table land they're going to. See that flat spot that they're right. going to? That's yeah. the table land. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Oh, they call that table land over there. That's great. So that's on the Hunt Trail, table land? Yep, it's on the Hunt Trail. Perfect. And down at the end of it is, uh, almost the end of it is the Rose Spring. And that's where Alto Road. Where are we? Uh, how you doing, Sean? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so proud of Papa. <laughs> so proud. I'm happy to be with my two sons. It's very special. This is Outdoor Steve from Baxter State Park in Maine on the knife edge. Almost getting up to way over there. You see the uh, peak of uh, that's the peak, which is the end of the Appalachian Trail. Never say I wish I had hiked the terminus of the Appalachian Trail via the knife edge.